Hi everyone, myself Varun Raja, assistant professor working in the Department of Aeronautical Engineering in Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. In this video, we are going to discuss about the combustion process taking place in a ramjet engine. For the study of combustion, we need to know the combustion system in the ramjet engine. The ramjet engine consists of four different systems like fuel injection system, flame holding device, combustion chamber system and the power control system. The fuel injection system consists of the injectors which will inject the fuel into the flow coming in from the inlet. The flame holding device are used to hold the flame in high speeds to generate more heat and burn the fuel of air fuel mixture and the combustion chamber that is the empty space which is meant to provide for the expansion of gases. The power control systems are the systems which controls the amount of fuel flow into the combustion. The next is burners. There are two different types of burners used in ramjet. One is baffle type and the second one is can type. The burners are meant to burn the fuel at different stages. The baffle type burners are mostly used in the after burner ramjets. In case of the ramjets are attached to the turbojets. The can type burners are usually used in typical ramjet engine. More than 5 to 12 cans, not more than 11 or 12 is the number of cans used for the particular burning of fuel in the ramjet engine. The next is objectives of the combustion. To obtain satisfied combustion of the range of fuel air mixture ratio or else we can call that as stoichiometric ratio required for operating the engine over its flight speed and different altitudes. That is the main objective of this combustion. Once we are not generating the engine speed beyond the flight speed, there is no need of taking that engine to the limit. To obtain maximum combustion efficiency as possible under all operating conditions. Then next is to affect above mentioned objectives like combustion efficiency and operating ranges with small possible pressure if applicable we can accept it and the next is to obtain more 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 possible ways of heat release and taking more temperature the next is factors affecting the combustion process here once we consider this is going to be the combustion process, the next is what are all the factors which considered for the proper combustion. On that first thought, we think about the geometry of the combustion burner. Where the burner geometry and its configuration has to be properly given as far as the consideration of 100% combustion. The next is the properties and characteristics of fuel. Physical and chemical properties are considered here like freezing point, boiling point and other alcohol values, octane values. These things are considered at most care to generate the quality of combustion. And the next is fuel air ratio. The ratio purely produces the amount of heat inside the combustion chamber. Once the air fuel ratio is not properly coming into the combustion chamber, we are not able to produce the amount of heat required to sustain at higher speeds in case of these kind of ramjet engines. Then the velocity of working fluid entry into the burner section that is another factor. 
here the working fluid is given as air fuel mixture in case of the working fluid is not sufficient to burn we have to change the fuel that already relates the previous factor the amount of fuel air ratio once this is not specifically obtained then we will change the fuel in the sense then the second part also coming into the picture once you are completed all those conditions the next is selection of fuel the factors which are considered while selecting a fuel for a ramjet engine is H6 the first one is calorific value the second one is ignitability of the propellant that is our fuel and the third is physical property then how are you going to store the fuel that is called storage ability and the fifth one is toxicity and the final one considered here is the corrosiveness starting from one we need a high calorific value fuel and the fuel is able to ignite at high temperature that includes the ignitability of the fuel the ignitability should not be less than 1500 degree celsius or else the fuel is ignited in the bag itself tank itself and the physical properties like the reaction between two different molecules should not happen because once you are storing these kind of fuel in different storage systems if it is reactable then that will spoil the overall working output of the system once you are using the particular fuel the exhaust gases coming out of the engine should not have any toxic elements because we are burning the atmospheric air and we are going to exit some fumes out of the atmosphere once it found that particular fuel has some toxic element then immediately we need to change the fuel then the final one is corrosiveness the corrosiveness is the part of the system which we considered with the physical properties the met the fuel should have less corrosiveness and tendency to corrosive with any kind of metals or else we need to store the particular fuel in different conditions that's it i hope everyone learned about this combustion process in ramjet engine thank you thank you for listening